Many of our legislators have been trying to ease the restrictions on foreign ownership in the country, but so far, this administration has been averse to that. Faced with this, an Australian company is willing to put in a big investment here, something short of $1 billion. In the Philippines, foreign investors who wish to come into the country can only acquire up to 40% interest in any new or existing company with a balance of 60% to be owned by a Filipino company. Because of this restriction, an Australian telecoms giant is investing less than 1 billion US dollars in the Philippines. Telstra, a leading Australian firm, is partnering with San Miguel Corporation in this venture, and its investment would only be up to 40% of the new telecom venture. Andrew Penn, chief executive of Telstra, said that the company is investing in the Philippines because of the country's lousy telecom service. Right now, the telecom service in the country is serviced by Globe Telecom and Philippine Long Distance Company. Because there are only two incumbent operators, this venture is considered strategic by Telstra. According to the company executive, Telstra added that earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization in the Philippines are relatively strong. Telstra likewise expressed a strong confidence in San Miguel Corporation. Although no concrete deal has been reached on this venture, both companies have confirmed that talks have been ongoing since early this year. For BizWatch, this is Jelly Angeles. If you will recall, San Miguel Corporation recently bought out its partners in the conglomerate's telecoms arm and consolidated all of its telecommunication units. If there is indeed going to be a third telecom service company in the country, it will certainly serve the Filipino consumers well in the face of stiff competition among themselves.